Hey, Claude Pallon here from Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. So let's take a look and see how the market research tool in Market Samurai works. It's going to be a first video. There may be a few of them. We'll just see where we end up here. So when you first start a create a project, um, it's going to ask you for a project name. So let's, let's off the top of my head, drums. Uh, I'll hit the tab, it'll fill the title, it'll tell me where it's going to be storing it. Uh, I'm going to do work in English, all countries and territories. If I wanted to, I could check out any other market I wanted to if I wanted to concentrate on that market. Uh, and we don't want to include adult material, and I hit create. And it brings me to this screen here, which is the home page, if you want to call it that, of all of the modules in Market Samurai. And on the right-hand side is keyword research. So I, up here you see my keyword. It's kind of a very broad keyword. And here I'm going to click keyword research. Now, there are several areas here that uh, Market Samurai offers. One is the Google Synonym tool, which is by default what we'll be doing the searches. It is, has in here include additional, which uh, I would assume would mean multi singulars and plurals, synonyms, uh, related words, as opposed to strictly a uh, just a, a very st strict keyword returned search. SEO traffic, it's going to show us traffic uh, for that particular keyword that shows up on the list uh, that would that is in the number one rank position for that keyword. Uh, and the, and the SEOT shows you the maximum number of total clicks that that number one position can generate for the keyword. We can add keywords here in a box. We can have positive keywords. You can add negative keywords. Uh, you can clear, update, import, export. So there's a lot of functionality here. On the right-hand side, you'll see you generate keywords. And down below in the menu, there's clear, import, export, copy, and analyze keywords. When you first start out, I've got my main theme keyword that I'm interested in, and I would come over here to the right and generate keywords. Now it's going to ask for a CAPTCHA. We submit, and then it's going to return, on average, it's going to return 200 keywords. And so there we are with 200 keywords. If I want to get some idea now of uh, SEO traffic, et cetera, I would come down here, analyze keywords, and uh, hit the analyze keywords. It will now return an SEO traffic because that's been selection. And this screen right here, when you do ask for data, is the data screen. It will give you organic information. It'll give you AdWords information. Uh, you don't need to worry about that until you get into pay-per-click. It will give you competition information, and it will give you commerciality or money-making information about your keywords. Now, I have selected, because of the way I use this, uh, the SEO traffic, the phrase to broad, the SEO competition, and I happen to always be interested to see if a word has commerciality. Some of this data is more than you need at this point because a lot of this keyword is much too broad, and you'll be looking for a niche. But at least it gives you an idea of what to look for. You can sort by traffic, and you'll notice that all the one-word keywords have very high traffic. Uh, phrase to broad as a parameter is simply the relationship between a phrase match and a broad match keyword, and the extent to which your phrase match and your broad match are the same. That is, the word order remains the same. You'll notice this is a one-word keyword. Therefore, the phrase to broad is going to be 100%. That means that in phrase and in broad, this is the keyword we'll, we'll, that will show. If there are two or three keyword phrases, then the phrase to broad will not always match, and the number, the 100%, will drop. What you're taught at Market Samurai, with Noble Samurai in a, and with Ed Dale in the challenge, is you want a minimum phrase to broad ratio of 15%. Below 15%, uh, the, the keyword is not going to be uh, optimized, or at least not optimizable enough to be profitable for you at, that, at this point. So 15. 
and the SEOT they ask they want to see is 80 but we're not there yet we, we're going to go down here and take a look at some of these keywords and see if there's anything that about a niche that we might be interested in and we want something that uh, has pretty decent traffic and uh, has some profitability all these keywords by the way you know, have our profitable keywords there is there are three with no profit it's in them at all drummers drums drummer the drums the drums and these have zero so you know you can get rid of these right off the bat not waste your time with them uh, and then I just kind of look and see what's down here so if I were a drum specialist you know and I love drumming uh, I would and I knew something about it I would look for a niche that uh, might be interesting marching drums is that different than drum cymbals acoustic drums all right let's take a look that sounds like an interesting niche now what I'm going to do here is next to the keyword is a key that key will allow me to highlight this particular keyword and set up a new tab which has been up here now I'm going to select that tab and I'm going to come back into the keyword research tool and now I'm going to generate back here new set of keywords and I'm going to drill down one level from here it's going to come back and pick up some keywords and then I'm going to come down here and analyze because I want to see what my traffic is what my PBRs are etc now here I'm going to begin to do a little bit of pruning I'm going to ask per the methodology at the, in the challenge I'm going to go with a minimum of 80 keywords 80 searches a day I want at least 15 percent PBR and I'm going to refresh the filters then I'm going to bring up and see take a look at the end now we're leaving the setting here at broad some affiliates prefer to do exact match only now the only th good thing about exact match by the way is that uh, it gives you the exact market for that specific keywords and uh, we know we don't want a single word keyword and so we, we can eliminate the drums and then oh, we see drum set etc now another filter that we're going to add here is going to be the competition filter so we have filtered for traffic we now have I uh, know we haven't SEO traffic let's refresh the filters And now we're down to 52 keywords remember we started with close to 200 and so we're filtered down now to 80. our acoustic drums initial word was uh has only 39 so it's outside the parameters of what we're interested in so you know bear that in mind it's not a heavily key searched keyword so we may be looking for something uh, that's a little bit better than that and i like the idea here of drum set but let's take a look at competition we want to see how competitive these keywords are in order to do that we're going to come back up here to analyze and we're going to click on analyze tab and it's going to now go out and get the SEO competition data Now that we have the SEO competition data, we're going to apply a filter. Now, as per what they teach us in the challenge, they tell you to go for 30,000 as a filter for competitive pages. So now we've got keywords here that are a minimum traffic of 80 searches a day. That's what we want, a 15% phrase to broad ratio and 30,000 competitive keywords. Uh, competitive pages so here we have filtered ourselves down to 12 active keywords and we can kind of take a look at these and see if there's any Roland electronic drums pearl drum set that's a specific Slingerland drums kids drum set electric drum set used drum sets Yamaha etc uh, profitability in all of this is very good and so here you can you can tell if you can go from here and decide I mean I would look at electric drum set and maybe pick that as my uh, my themed keyword and then do some more drilling so if I wanted to do that I would click on that electric drum set select the tab 
go to keyword research generate my keywords so that would be my main theme keyword and then uh, what I would like to do is analyze them apply my filters so I'm going to go with 80 go back and get my phrase to broad of 15 go to my competition keep it uh, within the realm and now I've got to go to my oh I haven't I had forgot to do one step let's analyze the keywords to get the competition data so we do that just you're just repeating and rinsing and repeating what you did in the pre previous step and we'll get our data now we're going to apply the filter refresh it and now we've got a set of keywords that are within the competitive filters that we've set up and we can go from there so electric drum set could be my main keyword and then I would look at the profitability here to see but this incredible drum sets look at this it's got 2278 broad search let's go to exact and take a little look and see what happens still very nice very very nice and uh, very good profitability and very interesting niche so there you are this is one way to use market summarize keyword filter there are other people that use the title they like to see what the competition is in in the title and uh, they like to um, go with a uh, a higher search for competitive and there's different ways you can use it but this is one way to take a look and and draw, drill down and find some interesting keywords and in, in interesting niches so i hope this has been helpful this is claude Pilon at affiliate starting line stay with it stay well and we'll talk to you soon